Good morning, Abby. It's Tuesday, and today we're gonna try vlogging with the lights on. Today is the first day of August, so I figured it might be cool if I just told you a bunch of stuff about August. So here we go. Speaking of August, my first day of school is on August 16th. Why? And to top it off, after like five days of going to school there, I immediately have to go march in a parade! No offense, marching band, I really like you, and I think that you're an awesome sport, and it's cool that I have the right to do you and everything, but like, I can't, I can't do it one week into the school year. Like, you need to give me a month or something to like, regain my sanity. Anyway, back to August. When used as a verb, August means respected or impressive. I guess that's to say that if I don't go insane by this parade that was just thrown at my face, then I will be respected and impress you people. August has two birthstones. One of them is the Peridot, which is this little emerald colored marble, and the second is Sardonyx, which is this brown and orange colored stone. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't Peridot and Sardonyx the names of Steven Universe characters? Because if so, I will be very surprised if one of the creators of Steven Universe does not have an August birthday. As with every month, August has a wide variety of ridiculous national holidays. Some of my favorites include America. American Adventures Month, which sounds really dramatic, but is just about vacationing to the North, Central, and South Americas. I understand that the goal of this holiday is probably to impart the culture of those areas on people, but really what I'm imagining is that a bunch of white people managed to not crash their yacht while trying to head to Puerto Rico, and then they decided that that was amazing that they had to name a holiday after. Because I'm cynical! Happiness Happens Month. It's so overly optimistic that I couldn't help but include it. Guess what? Happiness Happens Month is run by a group of people called the Secret Society of Happy People. I am not making this up. That is an actual society that you can join. Get ready for kindergarten month! Good thing it's not get ready for ninth grade month, <laughs> because then I would be really freaking out. What will be your legacy month? For those of you who want to spend the entire month of August in the middle of an immense existential crisis. Not only is August National Dippin' Dots Month, it's also National Goat Cheese Month. Does not sound like two things you would want to mix together. August also happens to be Get Acquainted with Kiwi Fruit Month. So, like, am I only allowed to get acquainted with the kiwi fruit? Like, if I were to ask the kiwi fruit on a date, would that be breaking the rules of the holiday? It turns out that today, the first Tuesday of August, is actually National Night Out. And you know what that makes me want to do? What the food in it now, Mr. Krabs? Friday is International Beer Day, so I imagine we're going to be seeing a lot of drunk people soon. Saturday is National Mead Day and National Mustard Day. Once again, two things you do not want to combine. The Saturday after that is National Left-Handers Day, and I know that our friend Hope is left-handed, so she'll have something to celebrate. And the Saturday after that is National Honeybee Day. Break out them VHS tapes of the B-Movie Kids, we gon' watch ourselves some Jerison Boo! And that's the only information about August I have for you. Hopefully someone found it entertaining and or useful. Question of the day, which one of those holidays would you most like to try and celebrate? I personally would like to try Get Acquainted with Kiwi Fruit Day because I don't know anything about Kiwi Fruit and I think it would be a learning experience and also it's has a stupid name. So, Happy, don't mix your dipping Dots with your goat cheese and I'll see you tomorrow.